The role of an HR leader in developing an organisation strategy is to work very closely with the executive leadership team, understand what the board and the key shareholders are expecting of that organisation and in what period of time. It's then understanding the external market uh, and the external industry and where that's travelling and having a true and accurate picture of what's happening from an internal perspective so that you've got a full data set of where that organisation is sitting and what the expectations are of that. It's then working very closely with the executive leadership team to define what the strategy is for a three, five or ten year period, um, being, very quite, being very clear on the objectives um, and then setting the plans to achieve each of those objectives. So HR's role in strategy development and deployment is key as far as I'm concerned. It's one of those real big agenda items that uh, you can execute really well as a member of a, of a leadership team. So in terms of what I mean by that, it's around making sure that there's absolute clear line of sight and alignment with uh, an organization strategy and what everybody else in the organization is doing, right down to individuals making the product on, on the shop floor. I'm a big um, advocate for bigger, fewer, better that stick and don't chase the 101 initiatives, chase the three or four or five that are gonna make the biggest difference and absolutely see them through to the extent that the behaviours are embedded, have the flexibility to turn them off too. So don't get so wedded by your initiative that you are too proud to say it's wrong.